Welcome back, coding fans, to another episode of Coding with Mr. Ayler. Um, we are here at appending remove values in our arrays uh, unit or module. Um, and in this one, what we're doing is we are taking things out, removing items from one array, and putting them in another array for use. So it's kind of like placing Legos where you're building something and then you take off, uh, it takes something off um, and then put it somewhere else and then use it later. Uh, that's kind of where we are with this. It is a little bit convoluted um, with the way that it goes uh, to tell you the utmost truth. I don't have a great understanding of what this is doing, but I do know how to do it. Um, so come along this ride with me and let's see what's going on. The great thing is they've got awesome directions. All right, so through here, uh, we're gonna create an array of all the coordinates in row two. All right, so variable, we're gonna call this row two. All right, R-O-W two. Uh, and it's going to equal world dot because this is an array of coordinates in the world. Okay, so we're gonna go world dot Okay, and then you'll see we've got these things, and this is coordinate in columns. We want coordinate in rows, um, and we specifically need them in braces. So I'm going to go pull down on the H to get my braces in two. Okay, so if we wanted this in more than two, if we wanted to hand it happen in all of them, we could do zero, comma, one, comma, whatever, but we just want row two. And now we have to create an empty array of coordinates. All right, and this is where we are going to put our, um, our things that we're going to append later. So we're gonna remove, append and remove. Um, so I'm gonna call this my recycling, R-E-C-Y-C-L-I-N-G. All right, because we're gonna reuse these things. Um, but it's going to be an empty set. It's just an empty bucket to put what we've removed in for later use, okay? So it's kind of like getting another bin so that we can sort and do stuff like that. So because it's empty, we need to designate what it is. So recycling, colon, space. Um, and we're going to pull down on the H to get our braces, and it's of type coordinate, all right? So recycling, colon, coordinate, all of these things are to the left of our equal sign. All right, and then to the right is our empty set of values. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and do that and hit delete. So we've created a um, array of all the coordinates, um, and this is, goes to 19. So there are 19 columns in row two. And here's our empty set that we're gonna put stuff in. All right, now, for 1 and 12, so it's going to go all the way to 12, that's 10. So to right here, we're going to kind of build up. All right, so for 1 and 12, for lowercase coordinate, C-O-R-D-I-N-A-T-E, in our array, which is row 2, okay, so this one right here, so whatever you named that, we're going to place a block at that coordinate and this has got to be lowercase coordinate like it was up here okay this one and this one have to match this is this is the name of our for in loop and we are placing a block in that loop all right and this is remove a coordinate and append it to your empty array okay so our empty array and we're kind of going in reverse so let's name our empty array recycling dot and we're gonna append it. All right, recycling.append our new element. So we are appending to our empty array. We have to tell it what we are appending, okay? And we are appending whatever we're taking out of row two dot remove, okay? Um, and we could remove at, uh, or we could probably remove first, but um, the way it looks to me, the book says we wanna remove at zero. Okay, so that's going to be our, our thing. Okay, so we're going to remove the first thing in, in this row and then put it in our recycling. Okay, and then we're going to place a character for each coordinate added to your empty array. Um, so that means that we're gonna start at zero, so we'll add a coordinate and then we'll add a coordinate and then we'll add a coordinate. Um, so for coordinate, 
and you have to type that out. So if we're coordinate in our empty array, in our recycling, all right? So for each of these coordinates, one through 12, so row two, column one, row two, column two, uh, column three, column four, column five, all of those we're going to put a person, okay? So we're going to world.place a character, world.place. Um, capital character, parentheses, um, at lowercase coordinate. All right, remember, this is the name of our foreign loop, and that is where we are putting it. All right, and if we run this, um, hopefully we'll get something all right. We'll run a little bit faster. So there, take one away, put one there. Take one away, and then put it on top. Take one away, put it on top. Take one away, and put it on top. All right, and it'll do this 12 times, taking one away and putting on top. And then for 1 through 12, um, they will place a character. All right, and as it says down here, we can change. I've got Hopper in there now, but if we put inside our character parentheses, name colon, so we'd have to type it in, name colon, like, dot blue, B-L-U. We could change it in our code or designate it in our code, um, and it would change the person. Uh, but that's it. Um, I'll go ahead and let this run through so that you can see that it's going to place blue instead of hopper. Um, and this is kind of a cool way that we can really start designating and getting a hand on our code um, because the more we understand how to do this, the better it will be. And now it's blue. And all I did was designate which character it was. Uh, and we've got. All right. See you on the next one. Love you. Bye.